Hey, what's going on guys? I'm from Model 3D and today's video is going to be a short unboxing of the Dynamo 3D One Pro. Uh, this was sent to me by Dynamo 3D uh, to review, to check out, to make awesome videos for you guys. So I hope you like it. Um, this is going to be a short unboxing. It came in a massive, absolutely huge wooden box. It weighed nearly 50 kilograms. You know it's cool when you go use your drill to actually open it. Uh, but yeah, it was in a big, massive, like solid wooden box. Um, inside was a smaller kind of box with lots of polystyrene, really well packed, a nice kind of like instruction unboxing the crate manual on top. And yeah, just pull out the box, really well kind of thought out on the packaging. Um, like I said, lots of polystyrene around it, all that kind of stuff, making sure that nothing moves, nothing rattles in delivery. Uh, this took about three days to ship from Italy, uh, which was really cool, really quick. So once it's at the box, you just unwrap it, take off all the cling film or the um, pallet wrap, and you reveal the beauty. And there she is in all her glory. The box was really wedged in between the um, build plates, so there was nothing moving, everything was solid, there was no damage at all. So in terms of specs, this has a 210 by 210 by 410 millimeter build volume. It boasts a 450mm a second top speed, which is insane, so I'm really looking forward to actually trying that out and see if it reaches those speeds. So type to open up the accessory box. Uh, there's lots of goodies in here. You've got the filament on the side, the power cable, and most of all the Bontech extruder for the machine. The filament that D3D included was a special experimental um, high-speed PLA, which I'll be showing off in a future video. So in terms of setup, it's super simple. Just pop the Bowden tube in the top of the hot end. This has an E3D V6. Um, open the Bontech extruder. Um, like I said, these are really, really nice SLS printed, really high quality parts. Um, pop this on the side of the machine. It just goes in these little slots and you just pull it down, drop it in. Uh, put the Bowden tube in the top of this, obviously. And put the power cable in the bottom. And it's just as simple as that. It's ready to go. There's no kind of issues. There's no screws, nothing like that. Uh, you pop the power cable in. Turn the switch on and you're ready to see lights. So this is really nice, it's got LEDs inside, it's got a 3 inch touchscreen panel on the front, um, it's Wi-Fi ready so you can connect it to your smartphone or your tablet to upload or print or monitor or any things like that. It's got a pause and resume job feature, which means you can literally pause your job, turn the machine off, move it around, turn it off for a week, turn it off for a day, whatever you want, and then came back, come back to it and resume and just start again. It's just it's perfect, it works really well. And after leveling and homing, it was as simple as pressing start and going ahead with the print. So I hope you liked the video. Please make sure to click the like button if you did. Maybe hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Big thanks to Dynamo 3D for sending me out this printer to check out, review, make awesome videos with. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one.